All right, so moving on to the next segment. I'll be sharing my top five teams that have the best chance of winning the NBA Finals this postseason. So starting at number five for me, that would be the Denver Nuggets. Uh, right now, they have the number one seed in the Western Conference, the road to the NBA Finals. Uh, as long as the Denver Nuggets are in there, travels through Denver, Colorado. They uh, And I do believe they are the most complete team in the Western Conference right now when you're talking about quality of depth. From top to bottom, this roster is legitimate enough to go on a deep playoff run. Western Conference Finals, uh, NBA uh, Finals appearance, mo could have the chance to win the NBA Finals this year. Though it's their time in Denver to make something happen this NBA postseason. Uh, the last time that the Denver Nuggets were fully healthy, uh, heading into the playoffs, uh, from starting rotation all the way to the bench, we saw the Denver Nuggets uh, and uh, go on a deep playoff run in 2020 playoffs when they overcame a 3-1 deficit against the Los Angeles Clippers led by Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Uh, the last time that the Denver Nuggets had a healthy Jokic, Jamal Murray, and Michael Porter for the playoffs, they made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. I do believe that this team has a legit chance to get there again. And I wouldn't be surprised if they get to the finals. Again, they're my pick. I do believe they have a shot to win the championship this year. And number four, the Golden State Warriors. Right now, they currently find themselves down 1-0 against the Sacramento Kings after losing game one on the road in Sacramento. Uh, with that being said, this team struggled. They're, we all, the world obviously knows their struggles that they went through in the regular season on the road, going 11-30 and 30 on the road during the NBA regular season. Uh, but they're only 90 miles away from the Bay Area to Sacramento. So is this really a road environment that they have to go through in the first round of the playoffs? Absolutely not. We can see uh, the Warriors fan base help uh, travel with them to Sacramento uh, throughout this seven-game series. And if they could get past the uh, Sacramento Kings in the first round in the Western Conference, uh, uh, I do believe that the West is in trouble. They have Andrew Wiggins, who is back. It's going to get him. Uh, it's going to take a couple games for him to get going. But Andrew Wiggins, we know what he brings to the table. We saw the defensive, uh, how great of a two-way player, I should say, he was last year in the playoffs in the Western Conference Finals against the Mavericks, how effective he was. And the NBA Finals, offensively and defensively, how effective he was on both sides of the court against the Boston Celtics, how effective he was. This team has the championship DNA in them to make a run of winning back-to-back -back NBA titles if they could get past the Sacramento Kings in the first round. So to get past them, Western Conference look out because they're not gonna they're just gonna keep rolling and get by anybody who they want to after that first round if they get past the Kings. And number three, the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, to me, they have dropped in my rankings of five, top five teams that have a chance to win the championship this year. Uh, I'd slipped yesterday due to Giannis's tailbone injury that he suffered in the first half against the Miami Heat. He was shut down for the rest of, this, rest of the game, and his status for Game 2 is up in the air. We don't know if Giannis is going to play Game 2 uh, against the Miami Heat. But I expect them to get past the Miami Heat in the first round. Like I said in the first segment, I do believe that the Heat will give them a run for their money. But I do believe the Milwaukee Bucks will beat them by Game 6. Uh, Tyler Hero's out for the rest of the series and for the forsake of the future due to a broken hand. He suffered in the first half of Game 1 yesterday in Milwaukee. Uh, but I do believe that this Milwaukee Bucks team knows what it takes to go on a deep playoff run. Uh, when And they have a healthy Chris Middleton, something that they did not have last year in the playoffs when they were eliminated in the second round to the Boston Celtics. Uh, the sky is the limit for this Milwaukee Bucks team. They've done it before. I do believe they could do it again. And I wouldn't be surprised if they get uh, to the NBA Finals this year. They have a good shot of winning it all. At uh, number two, the Phoenix Suns. Uh, they're in position to win an NBA title this season after acquiring Kevin Durant during the NBA trade deadline, uh, before the NBA trade deadline. Uh, the Suns trade away a lot to get a, a, a top caliber guy like Kevin Durant. They trade away Mikkel Bridges, Cam Johnson, and four future first round picks all to get Kevin Durant to win as soon as possible. Uh, <sighs> To me, they are the favorites to make it out of uh, the Western Conference with Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Chris Paul, and DeAndre Ayton uh, in their starting five. Will it happen? 
We got to find out because I said the question mark for the Suns going on a deep playoff run is the fact, is the fact that they don't have a trustable bench. What are they going to do if Kevin Durant, Devin Booker need a breather? They, those guys can't play 48 minutes. Where is your scoring coming when the starting five is out of the game? The, that's the only question mark I have for the Suns. Their bench is, is not trustable. Uh, but it would be a letdown to me if this Phoenix Suns team does not find a way to at least make a Western Conference Finals appearance this year after going out and getting Kevin Durant. Now, I understand that he missed time due to injury, but when you have two certified Hall of Famers in a, st in a starting five together, Devin Booker, one of the greatest scorers in this modern day era in the NBA, you expect great things. And to me, it's a letdown if they don't get to the Western Conference or NBA Finals this NBA season. <laughs> And at number one, I have the Boston Celtics. They are the defending Eastern Conference champions for a reason. Uh, and they were two games away of winning the NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors last year and the NBA Finals. Redemption is definitely on this team's mind. Um, the team of uh, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, Robert Williams uh, can take out anybody in a seven-game series in the Eastern Conference other than the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm going to have to see that. If they, we have a Giannis, uh, a healthy Giannis, Chris Middleton, and Drew Holiday all together. That that's a coin flip series if they match up, and that happens. But um, they could also, this could also be the last playoff run that we see Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown play together as a duo in Boston. Um, if they do, I I really have a feeling that J, uh, Jason uh, Jalen Brown will test the waters at NBA free agency this summer. Um, if they, especially if they fail to get back to the NBA Finals this NBA postseason, uh, I do believe they do have the best shot of winning the NBA Finals this postseason because they have this talented roster that they had last year. They added some pieces onto this roster, and they're definitely uh, looking for a redemption story, uh, falling just two games shy of winning the NBA Finals last year. But those are my top five teams that I believe have the best chance to win the NBA Finals this NBA postseason.